Hi, I'm Frank Barnwell, and along with Keith Barker, I'll be lecturing in the general zoology course this fall. Our course will survey the major groups of animals. We'll start with simple forms, like sponges and sea whips and sea fans, things that many people wouldn't even recognize as animals. We'll move on to those with greater complexity, and we'll finish with the birds and the mammals. For each group, we'll look at structure and function and how they solve the problems of existence, things like getting enough food, oxygen, moving around, and reproducing. We'll also learn about fascinating new approaches to understanding the evolutionary history of animals in greater depth than we've ever had before. And we'll look at video clips of the behavior of these animals in their natural setting. Here's an example of a video clip from when we were snorkeling with humpback whales on their calving grounds north of the Dominican Republic. This baby whale surfaced right in our midst, gulping on the way up just like the adults do. The calves are very curious, but they're also immature and uncoordinated in their movements. One of the things we learned was to give them a lot of space when we're in the water with them in the open ocean. There's a lot to learn in this class, and you're expected to come to all the lectures and labs in St. Paul. But when you're done, I think you'll have a foundation for a lifelong appreciation of the animal kingdom. And you'll be in a good position to understand the challenges that animals face in our changing world. Things like overexploitation, habitat destruction, and virulent new diseases. So if you're curious about animals, please consider joining Keith and me for general zoology in the fall. Hi, my name is Keith Barker. I'm curator of genetic resources at the Bell Museum of Natural History and assistant professor in the Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Behavior. I'll be co-teaching general zoology with Frank Barnwell in the fall. Traditional analyses of organismal diversity depended largely on traditional museum specimens such as these birds here. However, advances in molecular techniques and the availability of whole organismal genomes is making uh, possible uh, much more advanced analyses of organismal diversity. Here in the molecular lab, we translate museum specimens into DNA sequences like this. We use DNA sequences to infer phylogenetic trees, which are a basic tool for understanding the evolution of organismal diversity. Phylogenetic trees will also provide a unifying theme in our understanding of animal diversity in general zoology.